What's happening YouTube? Bickford's RS3 here. And today we're doing the four inch CTS inlet, turbo inlet. Look at the, look at the size of that bad boy. Um, anyways, I've already started. I've pulled the wastegate line off. Uh, these are from the coil packs. I'll show you what I got going on here. So I have to pull these off, coil pack, coil pack, um, the mounting thing. I got a rag in the inlet, wastegate. What's down there? See that little nub right there? Um, pulled that off. It connects right, right there. Uh, new line's gonna go routed in. It's just a rubber hose. Uh, the reason why I pulled the coil packs is because I have to take off this PCV. Um, recirculative thing because there's um, down there where it connects I have to cut that with a drum to uh, get it off so that's why that's all apart like that um, and yeah I'll probably get the lighting for you guys so right there is Right here, I got it. it's a T30. I'm gonna take that off, and then that's when I'll jack it up, take the rim off, the underbelly tray, and maybe a little bit of the wheel liner. And um, I'm not gonna bore you with all that. I'll just kind of cut to. Um, I will show like taking this out, and uh, like underneath once once I get it all set up. But yeah. That's what I have. Ready to go. Where's Jesse? See you in a minute. What's happening, YouTube? Um, so, getting this off the turbo outlet is an absolute bitch. Um, I'll show you what's going on. Uh, I don't have a light. Can I turn the light on while I'm recording? No, oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I fucked it up. Okay, so it's not dual recording, but it has a, the light on it now. But yeah, getting it off of that bitch is hard as fuck. I do have 130k on this. So yeah, I have 130k, so it was a little bit harder. Um, this is the other. This is the bolt I'm trying to get to right here. So it's a T30, I'm going to take that off, I'm going to take the one on uh, the top side off, and then um, put the new one on. There's a little seal, there's a little seal right in there that I could take off, I'll show you. But yeah, it's a bitch, you have to take the wheel liner out. That was a bitch. It's all a bitch, I don't like it, I wouldn't recommend it. What a mess. All right, so I got the inlet off. This is the bolt I'm talking about that I gotta cut. Just gonna put a slice with the Dremel and then take it out with a screwdriver. There's a little metal ring on there. I have to put that on the new one. We will do a comparison. Wrong way. Boom. Not bad, eh? Holy shit, I did it, boys and girls. Uh, big ass inlet is on. Chuck, chuck. So, uh, yeah. Let's kind of go over it a little bit. The, um, that one there, that little hex, it's, the, it's a new 10 mil hex or something like that. I had to use this little guy. I had to use that to get in there because you didn't have much space in there. The new size of this, your the ratchets don't fit. This one down here. That one's pretty easy. Uh, you can fit a lot of different things on there. Getting this off to begin with, like I said, was 
pain in the behind. And um, yeah, I'll show you when it's all back together and some sound clips. It already had some good induction. The uh, CTS intake, which is over there. Oh, it switched to me. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, intake's right here. Cha -cha. So we're going to the four inch adapter right here. And uh, I'm gonna slap this on. It's just a replacement for the piece that I had to take off to get to the actual inlet. Anyways, Dremel was used to cut into the PCV. That thing there. Hang on, I'll, I'll point to it so you know what the hell I'm talking about. Have to, you have to cut into the bolt that's there because it's like a tamper-proof bolt. Uh, I don't know where it went. It's a mess. It's a mess in here, guys. All right, I'll show you when I get some of it back together. I'm gonna put the coupler on for my intake. I'm gonna actually blow some of the dirt out of this. It's pretty dirty on the one side. I'm just gonna blow it from the out, out, inside out. And then yeah, we'll slap this bad boy back on there. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this to anyone that wants to do it because it sucks. It, was a pain to cunt. And, um, and yeah, it needed a lot of different tools. It's like no space. So, like, I don't know. Like small stubbies like that. Little swivels. Actually, I had a Allen key from a patio set that came in handy and, um, saved. It came in clutch. Anyways. Give you some sound clips later. The CTS outlet pipe on. My mic's a piece of fucking shit, take eight. GoPro going in the engine bay. <laughs> 